On today's show, with Leonard Fournette dominating the headlines, we tell you about the quiet freshman running back that has more touchdowns. And later on, Alex and I will get you ready for the first SEC game this weekend, and we show you the top five plays from this past week in LSU sports. It's fourth and goal, and it starts right now. Derek, do I have to do something? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Fourth and Goal. I'm Alex Cheney, joined by Derek Hoff. And Derek, it's so great that we survived that pledge fight. Last I know, Saturday. geez. I mean, it was all over. It was viral all of a sudden. I mean, but hey, ridiculous. we made it out alive. Hey, right? it was a little touch and go there for, for a second, <laughs> but, but we're fine. But we got it. But we have a busy show today and another exciting top five plays to wrap it all up. But let's get things started with the LSU football team. Now, the LSU football team will begin SEC play this weekend against the Mississippi State Bulldogs in a primetime matchup in Tiger Stadium. The Tigers come into this weekend's game after shutting out opponents Sam Houston State and UL Monroe in consecutive weeks and outscoring their opponents 87 to nothing in the process. The Tigers used running back Darrell Williams to power their way to a win over ULM. The Bulldogs, on the other hand, have also gotten off to a quick start this season after knocking off Southern Mississippi, UAB, and South Alabama in the first three weeks. Now in front of over 100,000 people in Death Valley, the Tigers are going to walk out onto the field with one of the most dominating defenses in the country this weekend against the Bulldogs. The Tigers are coming in with a good veteran defense that will look to set the tempo of the game early on. Very strong defense, good numbers, eighth in total defense, second in scoring defense, but the sixth but is the passing efficiency excuse me, at the bottom of the page that really should grab your attention. This is one of the best defensive secondaries in the country. Now, across the sideline on the other side of the field, however, is one of the strongest defensive line units in the SEC. You got Preston Smith. He's a three-time defensive lineman of the week. And then you got Chris Jones, who is an absolute stud. He was the number one player in Mississippi last year. And, it's going to be, and they're going to cause a lot of pr uh, pressure, for, I believe, for Anthony Jennings and Brandon Harris. Now, the Tigers will face off against the Bulldogs this Saturday on ESPN at 6 p.m. Central Time. This weekend will also mark the first time that LSU's litany of freshmen will get to play against a quality SEC opponent. Recently, Les Miles voiced confidence in his young players. I, uh, I, I see a number of those guys that, uh, you know, the Malachi Dupree's, the Trey Quinn's, the uh, Jamal Adams, you know, that group. I mean, even just, you know, in their freshman year, you know, Tredavious White and, and Richard uh, Robinson. It just seems that there's some expectations with those young guys that they're, they're, they can come here and play. And come here and play, they did. Of course, whenever you have the number one recruit, a lot of, a lot of media attention will go to him, and he's stepped up so far. 41 attempts, over 200 yards, and two touchdowns. You look on the other side of the ball, Malachi Dupree, not too much going for him early into the season. However, Les Miles did say in his press conference that we will see Malachi do a little more this week against Mississippi State. And then you look on the other side of the ball. You look on defense. We have guys already making lots of tackles and some sacks in the game, making uh, their will known in the uh, LSU football team already. The Tigers' top five recruiting class will get the opportunity to show that they belong in the SEC this weekend against a seasoned Bulldog team. Switching gears to the NFL, the New Orleans Saints will host the Minnesota Vikings this weekend in the Superdome. The Saints come into the game with an 0-2 record and look to rebound against a 1-1 Minnesota team that, as we all know, will be without superstar running back Adrian Peterson. This is an opportunity for the, for the Saints to get, jump on a depleted Vikings team who is who's not uh, producing much in the offensive game, not producing much on defense. They need to get Drew Brees in the flow. I think they might have a chance. The Saints will play the Vikings this Sunday at 12 Central on Fox. Coming up after the break, we take a closer look at the freshman who's seen the end zone more times than Leonard Fournette. You won't want to miss this. Fourth and goal. We'll be right back. Driven into right center field. Norrie slides. He caught it. Series. This might be one of the greatest all-around series ever. Welcome back to the show. 
Now, over the past couple of seasons, the LSU Tigers have been downright spoiled when it comes to running backs, from versatile backs like Stephen Ridley to the downhill running machine of Jeremy Hill. Lucky for Tiger fans, LSU continued the tradition and nabbed the number one overall running back recruit and consensus number one overall recruit in the country, Leonard Fournette, in last year's class. But it's another homegrown freshman running back from John Ert High School that is sending ripples, not only through LSU, but through the SEC. Tiger TV, report, Tiger TV reporter Cody Krupp has more. True freshman Daryl Williams decided to call Death Valley home. It may have been lost in the shuffle. A running back at his same position coming in as the number one recruit in the nation. Fans may have wondered what they were getting out of the four star, but the coaches knew. Daryl Williams is a, uh, a big, strong, you know, makes nice cuts, plays physical, he's physical. Thanks, Cody. And remember to come out to Tiger Stadium this weekend to watch Daryl as he faces the Mississippi State defense. In other LSU sports news, the women's soccer team continues their road trip this week as they face off against SEC foe Missouri. It's going to be a tough, uh, tough uh, road for the soccer team, excuse me, against BYU. They had a great win against BYU, a tough loss against, an, against a number 25 ranked Duke team. They're just building that road schedule so they can get back home here to, to Baton Rouge against Texas and m Next week, September 28th. If you'd like to catch the game of the Tigers playing the other Tigers in Missouri, it will actually be the LSU soccer team's first time on the SEC network. If you don't have that at home, of course, you can watch it online on ESPN3 at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Now going from the pitch to the court, the LSU volleyball team continues their preparation for their SEC opener next week against Kentucky. The Lady Tigers head to the Lone Star State this weekend for a tournament against Baylor at UTSA. Now this is a preparation for their SEC openers which begin next week. This is all about keeping the games close. They kept the game close against Florida State but couldn't quite finish the job. This is also big for them to stay healthy. You'd hate to see any injuries happen to the team before we get into the regular season schedule. Now if you would like to stay in touch with the volleyball team as they play this weekend, you can follow them on Twitter for updates at, at LSU Volleyball. And coming up after the break, Alex and I show you guys the best plays from the last week in LSU sports. I can't wait. Come right back. Conley to center field, goes back on it, a carry, still going back on it, and reaches up and makes the catch and takes it back from Hundley. He just took a home run away from... Welcome back to the show. Well, Derek, another weekend, another LSU victory. I think I'm okay true. with it. This is very true. I, I could definitely get used to the winning part, but also the highlights oh, part. Yeah, I mean, the, the part. team is really making it very easy on us to pick our top five players of the week. <laughs> so here they are. And we're going to start with play number, number five. five. This is freshman Devin Gotcha. Oh, we got you in the backfield. Nice try, ULM. Oh, better luck oh, next time. Party in the backfield. Look gotcha that. making a play. Going gotcha. on to number four. Gotcha. Who? But none other than number seven, Leonard Fournette, with the opening oh. kickoff of the game. Oh. I, what I like about that is he adds the power, he adds the speed, and look at this, just cutting Boop. back Agility. and forth. Oh, no, no, I don't think Unbelievable. so. Unbelievable. Finally, guys, after a while, they get him Can't do those arm tackles on Leonard Fournette. Who are you guys kidding? Here's play number three. Of course, the Fuga Nation again. Number seven down the sideline. You can't catch him. Touchdown, Tigers. Going on to number two, the man again, Daryl Williams, just moving people to score the short. Touchdown. What a great play. Oh, unbelievable. Great freshman. Excited to see him the rest of the year. But here is the play number one of the week. Darrell Williams down the sidelines. Look at the power, the intensity going, going. Touchdown. Great job. No ceilings. No ce Never any ceilings. No come ceilings. On. Especially when you're talking about <laughs> us. Come on. It's LSU. It's LSU right? football. I mean, we never on. have any ceilings. <laughs> Of course, uh, we do apologize for the technical difficulties earlier during the story about Daryl Williams. If you'd like to see the rest of it, of course, you can watch it on TigerTV.tv. But then again, Derek, that's not the only exciting thing we have going true. on. This is true. The, once again, on Saturday, we're going to have our Tiger TV tailgate show out on the journalism patio. Yeah, you know, it's the first, game, SEC, first SEC game. It's great to get out there. Oh, They're yeah. supposed to have uh, Johnny, Reg, um, I believe uh, Taylor Curette. you will be on so the desk, great anchoring group. And, and then gonna... we'll have interviews from Marcus Spears, Johnny Jones. Really, I really do, th it's worth your time to watch this. It's going to be a wonderful show. It's a great show. The anchors are great. They're knowledgeable. They know what they're talking about. I, I and think and it's, it's just students show. talking about, you know, LSU football. You know, that's, that's a, it's what, a beautiful thing. What else? I mean, you can't hate anything. I mean, you can't hate that. No, I mean, you, you, can't you can't hate that. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. Thanks for watching Fourth and Goal. And remember to follow us on our Twitter page at TTV underscore sports and on our YouTube page, LSU Tiger TV.
Oh man. Oh, another show. Another show. Feels good. Yeah, I agree. This is great. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> for Derek Kopp, I'm Alex Shaney. Thank you for watching Fourth and Goal, and you stay classy, Baton Rouge.